Hi, it's Zubba1975, and today I'm going to tell you a little story. And basically, I'm out of really dangerous footage at the moment, so this is just some of the footage I didn't use on my Road to Jack series. This is me getting burnt up by some stars. But I thought I'd use it as background as I'd tell you this story. Basically, it's an old war story. During the Second World War, a British destroyer called the HMS Glowworm came up against the Admiral von Hipper, a huge heavy cruiser. In terms of Elite Dangerous, that would be like taking on a Corvette in an ASP. <laughs> Just, you know, maybe even a Cobra. I'm talking like ridiculous scale sizes here. But the Glowworm basically was with a flotilla of ships going to Norway, got separated from the rest of them, ended up coming across two German destroyers on their way to Norway with invasion forces on board, took on, got past the destroyers to find out what they were escorting, and it turned out they were escorting this huge great heavy cruiser. Now, the Glowworm and Bateur just carried on the attack. Just went in, using smoke and great naval tactics, the captain of the Glowworm relentlessly attacked this cruiser. They fired all ten of their torpedoes at it. They gave it their all, but with their deck ablaze and only one little gun still firing, the captain decided to give the order, and they went in under a cover of smoke and rammed the side of the Hipper. Now, unfortunately, not many of the crew of the Glowworm survived. Those that did survive because the admiral on board the Hipper stayed behind to rescue them. In a really like noble gesture he got his crew to save as many of the crew of the Glowworm as possible and in fact he was really impressed with the captain of the Glowworm who he couldn't save. He actually wrote to the Admiralty and advised them of the action, what had happened, how it had transpired, detailed accounts and his recommendation that the captain of the Glowworm be given the Victoria Cross. Now the Glowworm's actions ended up meaning the Hippo was out of the war for some time and ended up parked up in a fjord somewhere not doing any damage. And that day, if it hadn't have been stopped, it would have probably got in amongst the British convoy, the flotilla that was going to Norway, and caused significant damage. Now I'll leave a link in the description to the story of this because it's, I'm not doing it justice and there's way more to it than what I'm saying. But it was one of those David versus Goliath things that just was amazing. And when I was a child and I first read this story, I've got the book somewhere still in my house, it was an amazing sort of heroic story. This plucky little destroyer taking on this humongous ship. And I thought I'd share it with you. So that's all. Thanks for watching.